I was the first one that experienced this. Uh, it was my first son, my first child. And at, at 13 days, he went into heart failure. And he was hospitalized for about a month. They thought that the heart was grossly enlarged, as was the liver. And they thought it was a virus that he had contacted that had enlarged the heart. They put him on digitalis, and he, he did all right on that, but he was very slow to develop, very tiny, fussy eater. He couldn't tolerate milk. We had to have some sort of a substitute. And he was getting a little bit better, and by the age of two, they decided to take him off the digitalis gradually. But then all of a sudden, he went into heart failure again, and this time he didn't recover. We had no name to it at that time. They just thought it was a virus. And it wasn't until Lynn had, well, actually, I had a sister who subsequently had a little boy. He lived to be four months and uh, passed away very quickly. And then when Lynn had Adam, and they found out that there was something wrong, that by that time, they had a name for it. And I, I mean, I was absolutely shocked. So we ended up going to sick kids and getting the autopsy reports on my first son. And they decided that it was definitely Bar syndrome that he had. We, of course, wondered what was wrong with our boy because uh, all my friends were having children around the same time and they were crawling and standing up and talking so much earlier. But then when Adam was born, he didn't appear to be sick at all. I mean, he was chubby and not the way you normally think of a little boy with Bar syndrome. So, I mean, I felt terrible because by this time we realized it was a genetic thing and I thought, I've passed this on to my daughter. And I mean, you have no control over what had happened, but at least she knew that there, what it was and that they were starting to do some research into it. Where is it? When I had Eric, there was no hope. So things have come a long way. Well, of course, when Eric was uh, ill, we just didn't have any idea what it was. They, they, all they knew is they had to give him digitalis and just hope and pray that he would get stronger. But when Lynn's little boy was born, um, they now had a name for it and they sort of knew what to look for. They now know a lot more than that, but uh, I, I was totally in the dark, and I don't think she was, she and her husband. I don't think they were quite as uninformed. Um, it's a scary thing because, of course, I knew the outcome of my son, and you hope that it's not going to happen to your grandson. And also the fact that I've passed on something to my daughter, and dear knows where it's going to end. So uh, it's encouraging that they're doing so much research in this. I would imagine, just from my own experience, you're frightened. And you have to take that first step. That's the tough part, I think. But once you're in contact with anybody from the BSF, you'll feel so much better. You'll realize you're not alone.